I'm gonna hit you with the socials, which is on a link tree. And I'm gonna hit you with the Discord because I feel like you would appreciate the things that are happening in this community. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Every single Twitch Prime is uh, is appreciated, guys. You get Twitch Prime for free if you have a Twitch Prime membership. And I get a dollar every time I say Twitch Prime. Okay, so for the bands, Aphelios, Mordecai's are coming out. Rashanga obviously getting his misfortune taken away. And Warwick Band away. Shocker there. Syndra. That's a great band. And then, oh yes, of course. What is his name? Uh, Kane, Kanye. PC building stream, making it. I can't, I literally can't do that because I'm taking the memory from this computer to, to, to put it to my new computer. Would be a stressful stream, <laughs> filthy. Dude, why do, you got, why do you gotta do me dirty like that in front of my friends? <laughs> All right, this is exciting. We're seeing Cho'Gath come in. Matt loves Cho'Gath. Kasai, that's an exciting pick. Yasuo mid lane on the with Canadian Hero. I like that. That's a gutsy pick. Choco Man repping Maokai. Vi coming in from the jungle. So McKinley actually loves Vi, but he's never gotten her so far. Vladimir is a very safe pick. Late game hyper carry. Um, lots of AOE damage. He's also kind of an off tank. So that's a great pick for them. Right now, they've got some beef going on for um, Dark Star Guardians. Which is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> when Spicy thinks I'm gonna cut him some slack and asking new members to join when he's on a date. Oh no, Spicy. Is it date night? Oh, dang, son. All right. WCF is Kasai. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I said Kaiza. You can build and test the PC without the HDD. Well, shoot, dude. The, that's why it'd be a hard stream for me. Because I don't know that stuff. Morgana. Oh, Rashanga on Jinx. That's exciting. They got some very comfortable picks for them in the bot lane. Band player picking up a Moo Moo. That guy token getting Janna. Yasuo mid lane. Kai's a bot. Good luck. Have fun, Coco. Thank you, Coco. Coco, good luck, buddy. I'm so glad, guys. Fun story about Coco. I met him online. He was on the enemy team, and I was just being stupid. We were kind of trolling, which is always, always the case here. And he joined us, joined us in the voice comms, and we were like, we had to whisper because we we're like, guys, I'm pretty sure he can hear us. But we're ganking. We're going in right now. Go to the dragon. And then he would just show. It was the most annoying thing ever. But um, we love Coco. He's so funny. Great addition to the community. Who plays a Moo Moo? Lots of players play a Moo Moo, honestly. Good luck, comrade. All right. Now's the time. Let us know your team affiliations. Are you pro? Tuna for President 2020. Or Team Dark Star Guardians. Thank you for the follow there, Canadian Hero. Good luck in that match. Exciting to see a Yasuo in this game. Are we allowed to add you, IGN? Of course. Yeah, no problem at all. What do I have against a Moo Moo? What do you have against a Moo Moo? <laughs> all right, Josh. Obviously cheering for his former team. Let's go, Tuna for President. I am naturally biased because Rashanga was my AD carry for um, last season of uh, VCL, and I spent a lot of time bot lane. I was his pocket Lulu, um, and we, uh, we, you know, we played some games. Goliath, <laughs> good luck, man. You're playing against my boy, and then McKinley and I, of course, we play soccer together on Tuesday nights. I'm gonna root for Dark Star Guardian. Gaming? No, it's Guardian. Did I cheat? Oh no. Did I do him dirty? Hang on, what is the title right now? No! Oh crap. All right, I did him dirty. 
All right, it's actually Dark Star Guardians. I'm just a boosted bonobo. I am. It's actually Guardian. Oh man, get it together, Vix. What are you doing? Cool. Ooh, okay, it's been changed. I'm sorry, Zix. <laughs> oh, that's no bueno. Hey, Mooks, thank you so much for joining the server. I just want to say that publicly because I, I don't have the time to type right now. Still rooting for DSG. Let's go. Type an F in the chat for Baby Yoda and most to be added. Wait, Harley, that's not a thing. Is it a thing? That would be super exciting if it was. All right, so Mooks, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? What do you play? What's your rank? Are you a casual or are you a sweaty tryhard? We love either. I bet I'm gonna look it up. All right, very nice. I mean, honestly, if you found that, that would be amazing. Get there. 16 live in Jersey. I'm mostly casual, but I can try hard when needed. Rank, it's embarrassing, man. Iron one. I swear I'm not bad. Hey, no worries. There's literally no difference that for, for, for me and Iron One because I honestly I'm like I make unranked decisions if that's how we're gonna base it. That's okay. It doesn't matter what rank you are, you're still welcome to this community because people are more than just their in-game names. What rank am I? I am well currently I haven't done any placements in my solo duo, but I hit a all-time high of plat four, which is the highest I've ever been in League of Legends, which is Fantastic. Oops. If you're looking um, in the Discord, go to the coaching. Um, because we actually have free coaches here who are more than willing to help you get better at League of Legends, increase your gameplay, and it's for F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. Just because we care about you as individuals and we want what's best for you. So if you have goals that you want to hit, I don't know. But one of the coaches has to be available. That's like the one thing. Okay. So here we are. Loading onto Summoner's Rift. Let me arrange these because I don't think that these are right. A moment's going to be there, 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 there. All right. Now we are correct. Sweet. There are less people in iron than in diamond. So technically a more unique and exclusive elo. Rue. Wait a second, Mooks, you're all over the place. How many accounts do you have? Oh, wait a second. Oh, I see, I see a Seahawks. Five-man bot lane. Dark Star Guardians roaming as one. What do I mean? Mass chilling top lane, obviously spamming the penguin dab emote. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a fun match to watch. This reminds me of the community games. Oh, just because I, I'm familiar with every single one here, and that's that, oh, this is gonna be exciting. For sure. Mid lane, Yasuo versus Vladimir. Who wins that matchup? I want to say it's in favor of Yasuo. I really do wanna say it's in favor of Yasuo. Hey, Jinx is a very hard pop-off carry late game, but she's going to be farming towards that goal. Morgana allows her to do so safely. Yana's a bit of a lane bully now, which is, I find to be incredibly tilting. Hey, 
and Kaiza is definitely uh, uh, farming a hyper carry. So we'll see how that happens. Her build uh, changed, I think, in the middle of last season towards what's more effective. Matt getting some early trading onto Mr. Coco there. Both of them are going to be Beefy Bean Burritos. He sustained from Cho'Gath far um, outlast that of Maokai, who can do it every five abilities cast, I believe. And he can slurp those autos. Obviously, we're seeing a good trade. Canadian hero going straight in, but taking a lot of damage from the wave. A little bit questionable to overstay into that, but it's okay. He's got the wind. He's he's got the passive there. A nice sidestep by Gray. Good gank. Vi is in. It's gonna get punched in the face. Matt's gonna have to flash out. Q's not gonna land. Chugging those health pots, and it's a flash down top lane. Vi with a very aggressive gank there. Amumu kind of focusing more so on the power jungle. If you're asking what my IGN is, it is V1G0R4, aka Vigor4, aka Vigora. Oh no! Bigs, bigs are for the subscribers. Okay, McKinley picking up first blood. The flash Q in. Great combo. Will they be able to finish off Matt? Good CC, good damage coming into double kill for McKinley top lane. That is gonna set him off to a really good start in the jungle. Dragon is available in 20 seconds. I don't think there's any farms left. Oh, except for Krug's top lane. Mid lane, we're seeing Vladimir pull away with CS, which is good. He needs that early CS against the Yasuo. The Trace uh, bot lane, actually Kai's is doing a really good job of farming. I would say that this would be like a little bit tricky for her to farm considering the range difference. Dragon has been pinged by Vi. Amumu also towards bot side. Vladimir there to support. I think they're aware that this is gonna be a dragon challenge right now. Okay, VCL is a shout casted 5v5 on Summoner's Rift. It happens out of the Discord server. As you can see, VCL was originally OG Kush's idea, and he's worked really hard to see that come into being. I have been assisting him and helping in any way that I can, but he deserves all the credit for this because he's just put in an incredible amount of work and blood, sweat, and tears as well. I do shoutcasting. This is a positive, non-toxic League of Legends community, and this is a fun way to have competitive League of Legends with a respectful, non-toxic environment. I hope that you enjoyed. That is basically VCL, in a nutshell. Red team, Red team actually picking up the dragon there first. Good job to roam down there. Mid lane has Pryo, top lane has Pryo.
So that's really good. Do we win prizes? Yes, the teams that are playing right uh, in this season have the potential to win $100 at the end. But it looks like Coco actually had a really good evasive move. The cats are going to take him down. One more auto is going to do the trick. Coco Man slaying Matt. Big, big gold. That's a solo kill for top lane. Wow. Gluten free. <laughs> That's great. That is absolutely fantastic. I love to see the solo kills. McKinley is in a bit of a hard spot right here. He's over the wall. Now Zig Sarah is in a hard spot. The flash comes out. Gray's gonna flash in as well. Vladimir's slashing in. Flash is all over the board. Getting caught in it. Gray goes down to Beatrix. Now it's Jinx. With the pop-off, she's getting hyper. Band player almost about to go down as well. McKinley picking up another kill to his belt right now. Sitting at three and oh. We hit those, keep it up my G. What is up mine zero guys? Go follow this man right now or you're crazy. We don't want to be crazy though. Obviously he's here to support it. His man Jose who is playing uh, a Moomoo -moo right now. So uh, good timing, you know. I swear to you, it wouldn't have happened. He wouldn't have went down like that if he didn't show up. Guys, Lefty is a phenomenal streamer. Really fun to watch. Good energy. And sometimes you can convince him to freestyle rap. Alright. So we are in the presence of greatness. That's super exciting. We're, we're looking at a 5-0 lead in kills right now. But kills don't determine everything objectives do because they don't respawn. Well, some don't respawn. That was almost true. I find it interesting that Maokai was actually able to get the kill there on Cho'Gath because... It's a it's, I feel like it's a harder lane for Maokai... To, to CS in and Cho'Gath for sure, uh, but his damage is definitely to be respected. Band player sneaking the uh, red buff away from Vi. Vi will soon discover that. Gone and probably. Uh, actually, Vi might have that red buff. No, I'm not really sure. We'll have to take a look at that. Not too bad of a trade in mid lane. Canadian here doing a good job. Okay, trying to get the. The, the poke in here. Is this going to be an all-in? The great sidestep. Actually, it is. Beatrix decided that he did want to fight it. His ultimate was available by bot lane. And no buff. Fighting all over the map. Coco and Matt getting back into it again. Top lane. Dixera popping the ultimate. Is Morgana bot? So far, no kills have come up. Jinx is level 6, so she's got that rocket. She might be able to sneak a kill from across the map. This is the all-in Beatrix with the Ignite. Is he going to go down? And Canadian Hero has slain Beatrix. Now Coco is going to have to flash out of it and step back into it. Okay, that's Amumu. And Matt getting the consume on Coco Man using his own health bar as stats. All right. Now McKinley's going to smite for the kill, getting the punch off before the knockoff's able to land, which would have allowed Yasuo to make it out safely. Really interesting turn of events there. Good. Two pickup kills for Tuna for President. Great as before is doing a great job farming. Both AD carries are at about 89, 83 CS right now. Highest in the game. Really good job. They are going to be packing a punch when it gets to mid game and even stronger when it gets to late game, obviously, as Jinx is going to be looking to hit that three item power spike. Kaiza will be looking to, I believe, rush towards the um, Storm Razor and then into probably. Uh, I don't know. What, what does Kaiza build? Can you register VCL? Uh, unfortunately, VCL is closed. You may 
I have a possibility of being a sub, but VCL, the teams are set for this season. Nice knock up and Yasuo is going in. Ignite coming out. Canadian Hero are actually doing a really good job right now. CS is dead even in mid lane. But the trades are going so heavily in his favor right now. He's getting to that point where he's just a nuisance all around. Okay, Vi once once again is here. But Otto the tower. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, that is a shutdown. And the 400 gold lead is eliminated. This season will be over in about five weeks. That leaves the dragon open for Tuna for President. A little bit of a blunder there for McKinley, but it's okay. It can still be recovered. Joe Gath is going to start doing really well in these trades now as he continues to tank up. After five weeks, I can register? Uh, no, because we have this specifically in this season. But if you want to talk more about it later, we can we can uh, we can definitely do that. Also, my B for all the questions was just curious. You are absolutely fine. Gray consistently having a low health bar here. It's just uh, the nature of that lane for them being a very short range A carry. That's gonna happen a lot. Now, notice Jinx picked up the Infinity Edge. She will be doing lots of damage now. Once she gets her boots finished into the um, Berserker's Greaves. Be in a good spot. Maokai is... Uh, he's got the... A lot of magic resist right now. What's he got? Is the Negatron Cloak on top of the No Magic Mantle. So he's obviously going to be trying to prepare against the Cho'Gath and the CC that's going to come from Amumu. Definitely a good call. I might recommend it with the Yasuo to get some early, early um, armor items. But he's also, I think it's probably going to end up being the Sunfire Cloak. That, that would be my guess. I'm going top side. Kinley, Vi, also top side as well. And it's a death push. I don't believe it. Jana caught out. No attack speed. That guy token in a really rough position. Gray getting ignited. And John is actually able to make it out. Kaiser coming in to switch it. Oh, that's a huge switch up. Six arrow goes down. Now it's Rashonga in a 1v2 situation having to flash out. Oh man, the minions are doing it to his health bar. What a fantastic turnaround. Great turnaround by Jana. Able to very casually make it out. Rashonga now is in a 1v2 situation, but unfortunately gets bursted down. Great shield by that guy Koken. Wow. I don't believe it. Maokai coming bot lane. His ultimate has been popped. It's going to go just to the right. He wanted to be so helpful in that, but I think the rotation was just a tad late. Now McKinley's in. Oh! It's the Q flash. Man, that gets him every time. He is going Triforce and pumping out the damage. Betting on blue team to win and turn this game around. This is any man's game right now. The gold is within 100. It's actually less than 100. Just a little bit less. But first tower might go down. McKinley is going to commit to that. Very nice. That is a very healthy buy. Five and one. Great rotations. Great presence so far. Definitely a force to be reckoned with. Kaizo's going to have to watch out for that because a fed buy in one shot and 80 carry hands down no questions asked leaving it all out there on the court now Yasuo has been doing a really good job Beatrix is trying to fight an uphill battle here 
As you can see, his health bar is affecting it. He doesn't have any hard CC. I should have noticed that. Oh my goodness. All right, Beatrix will not, he will go down. Okay, McKinley picking up another kill there. The roam. Okay, wait, the turn. Okay, the, they gotta go for it. Okay, Rashanga picking up that guy token. Just one to his belt of many. That's one and one right now. Okay, Matt and Coco in a slugfest up there. It's hard to see who's winning. There's a lot of health bars. Coco's there. A Mumu shows up out of nowhere. He's got the Q. Once again, sidesteps into it. Knock up. Banish, the Banish Toss, and Matt picks up the kill on Coco, man. Really, really good job. Really good presence of mind by Band Player to know to roam up top there. He looks like he's doing a little bit of a hybrid between magic damage and um, health. So that's all good. That's all good for them. But that leaves open because of Mumu's top lane. They're gonna they're gonna go for that tower, which is a that's a great trade for them to make. But that leaves the dragon. Knockup goes in. Yasuo chose to not engage on that knockup. Very wise call, as it would have cost him his life. Doesn't have to shut down right now, but that's okay. Blade above all things. Indeed. Alright, let's see what happens here. We are in the middle of mid game. We may have our first five man group. Red team is grouped to knock down the tower up there in top lane. Okay, Matt is on his way in. I don't think he's going to get there in time, so he recognizes it that as a potentially dangerous situation. Jinx is uh, getting hyper over there. Getting hyper carry-ish. Sitting at 152 CS. Uh, I believe that's gonna be at least a zeal uh, added to her belt. A zeal and two daggers. That's good. She's approaching her second item at almost 20 minutes, okay. And Kaiser is going for the um, Storm, Storm Blade, Storm Razor, and uh, Insu's Rage Blade. That's what we're looking for. All good. At least for right now, all of uh, Tuna for President is on their side of the map, on, on the bottom side of the map. See what happens. Drag is not up for. Another two in minutes and 45 seconds. Right now, I think that um, Darkstar Guardians is in a really good position for this game. It continues scaling. I think that Jinx has a little bit of an advantage for the late game because of how her passive works. If they can get one pick there, which I think shouldn't really be an issue based on the Morgana and the Vi. Now it looks like Matt's kind of caught out in a bad position. He's gonna knock it back. He's gonna take the trap. The knockup has to flash out of there. Oh, just almost getting the passive. There it is. Okay, Yasuo then Roshanko goes down. This is the big turn. It looks like Tuna for president is actually starting to take this fight. They have done a really good job. Canadian hero still on the case. He might be going for the quadra kill. Uh, I'm crazy. It's a double kill, but that's an ace. That was a big fight for them. They used a lot of things on that Cho'Gath to try and burst him down. He's a big boy. That is super exciting for them. This game just swung wide open. I don't know who's going to win. I really don't, but luckily you and I get to watch this game together.
amazing, isn't it? McKinley going for uh, the Marv Malmortius, obviously for his next item. That'll be a big pickup for them. Yasuo yeah, so popping off at six and three. He's just gonna continue to scale. Oh man, Jogath is a tanky boy. Jinx does not have all the crit that she needs right now. She's really gonna be in a good position with one more item. Gotta be really careful. Four man bot for Tuna for President. Four man, five man bot for Dark Star Guardians though. Dragon spawning in 30 seconds. The stage is set for a very explosive battle here. Nice health bar is looking a little weak. But Maokai is putting them in a good spot. Top lane has been pushed up. Nice work by Yasuo split pushing. Canadian hero showing his, uh, his, his prowess as a Yasuo player. As well as map macro play. Alright, this is going to be a big fight for them. Matt is... I don't know what's going on, but it's been swung in a really crazy direction. But it looks like it's another ace. If that's another ace for Tuna as president. <laughs> the quadra kill on Gray. Will somebody, t somebody clip that? Gray just doing an excellent job of being in the right place at the right time. Peeling for himself, making sure that... Uh, he was covering his back through that. Really good pacing for Tuna for President to play that fight out in the way that they did. They had to be very patient because the hard engage, all they had to do was just live through that, making sure that the high priority uh, carries did not. <laughs> That was almost a Baron steal right there for Rashanga. Luckily, the Yasuo um, was able to win wall at the last second. I do believe that would have stolen Baron. So Gray has just reached a whole new level. Obviously, picking up a full item from that fight alone. Bring him to a three item build, and he's got the uh, Cloak of Agility. More crit in the bag. That's going to be going into an Infinity Edge, I believe. Okay, ultimate coming out of Coco Man. I don't think he sees the other players there in the bush. Yasuo is split pushing bot lane. That's good. They literally have to send two towards him. And that would still put them in a risky situation. And knockup coming in. Band player going in. Bandage toss. Ultimate. Not such a sad mummy anymore. All right, tune for president, making their way out. Yasuo getting shut down because Vladimir and Vi show up. Can't say I'm surprised, but was it worth it? I'm not sure because they lost uh, tower bot lane, tower mid lane. We'll see how this game continues to go. I'm just, I'm just stunned by that fight. Gray did such an excellent job to just play that out slowly and watch it unfold. Not, not committing too hard to some of the kills that were close, and then just coming in to clean up. But I think that was a result of the efforts of his team.
I'm yawning. Can't go down like this. Okay. Pretty much a group right now. They're trying to figure out what to do with their Baron exactly because they are extended. Wait till you see how to become a mercenary baby Yoda meme. <laughs> um, I think they're they're trying to figure out what exactly to play on the map. They don't have really aggressive vision into um, Dark Star Guardians jungle, so they need to be careful of that. Overextending is definitely a reality that they would live in. Playing it out slowly, making sure that they're setting the waves, they're checking all the boxes right now, crossing. Crossing the T's, dotting the I's. In a perfect world. If they continue to do this and control the waves, do a good job of grouping at the right times, like I think that they have put themselves in a very good position. Dragon up in 30 seconds. Teams are starting to group around it. The whole time, I will comment, Janna is almost unkillable. Doing a really good job of uh, just getting out of those fights. Wait a second, Gray is in right now. He did not see this. This is the engage that they're looking for. The zoning ultimate out of Maokai. In from the backside, they're trying to focus down Cho'Gath, which is not really working for him. I think Sarah's going to have to ult Matt coming in. He's still alive. Lots of Zanyas everywhere. He's just a titan. A behemoth Yasuo. Very nice using the ultimate there. Rashawn is in a bad position. Coco Man is the last to go in, and that's going to be a double kill, a double kill, and an ace. All right, they're, we're saying back off of the dragon because we have towers to take. Yep, after a big fight like that, you want to go straight for the objectives to just uh, really like finalize your victory, honestly. You know, you can take jungle camps and stuff like that on the way back out. They may even be over committing here for this, but Amumu's there to help them out safely. Inhibitor has fallen against Dark Star Guardians. Tower bot lane, Canadian hero. Three level difference, doing a really good job of creating pressure in opposite lanes on the map, opening that up where they have to make a decision. Dark Star Guardian has been constantly trying to make a decision. This game, very smart, very smart. Baron is entering Summoner's Rift. Three, two, one, zero. Now available. If they saw a vision of Kai's bot lane, you would even think that maybe they're going to go for this, but I don't think it's possible. Yasuo's bot lane, maybe they can go for a fight here, but it's probably going to cost them another inhibitor. This is a tough spot to be in for Dark Star Guardians. Really, really well and well job for um, Student for President 2020. Playing the map. This this is definitely a game of strategy. Canadian hero gonna trade in. And that's Baron being started to four in one situation. Canadian hero is going for the all in here. W from Vladimir is gonna say, no sir, not today. Blue team slaying the Baron. The smite and the Cho'Gath chomp is definitely a considerable force. Beatrix. Getting the life drained out of him. Actually picked up a kill on Yasuo. Now this is a big team fight for them. What's going to happen? Jinx looks like she's trying to get hyper. But it's not going to happen. For some reason we're still focusing on the tanks. Okay. Jinx is still waiting for that passive. Not quite there yet. So many health bars. So much health is left. Be desired. Oh. You hate to see it. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to see that team fight. All they needed to do was get one pick. And Jinx would really pop off. And that, I believe, is what they were trying to do. 
A lot of pressure onto the Cho'Gath, who right now is at galactic levels. Beatrix doing a good job of defending. Nice play in the 1v1 versus Yasuo, who may have overcommitted at that point. Um, trying to go for the quick end, but it looks like it's actually going to end up stalling the match out a little bit longer for them. One less Baron empowered player. Okay. Band player looking for the bandage toss in. It's not going to land. Coco Man coming in from the side. Yeah, this is a... They, they've got to really turtle this one out here. Band player once again getting spotted out. Bandage toss. Now it's Canadian Hero coming in. This is probably not the fight that they're looking for, but it looks like this is indeed going to be the all-in. Band player is on a rampage, picking up Coco Man. Roshanga is trying to skirt away right now. Coleus is going in. Gray is right there, picking up a kill. No, he's not. Okay. It is... That is it. That is an ace for two different president Dark Star Guardians. Will go down in a heartbreaking defeat here on Summoner's Rift. But that's okay. GG, well played. Guys, some really great plays from that game. Take a moment here.